the trump card, a wild card for the when. The global financial landscape is no stranger to unpredictability, but few factors have the potential to shake it up, quite like the political maneuvers of major world leaders. The 2024 U.S. presidential election is shaping up to be a nail-biter, with Donald Trump vying for a return to the White House. His campaign is already stirring up significant attention, not just within the United States, but across the globe. The stakes are high and the implications of his potential victory are vast. Global markets are watching closely, and for good reason. The outcome of this election could have far-reaching consequences, influencing everything from international trade policies to currency valuations. Investors, traders, and policymakers are all on high alert, trying to anticipate the ripple effects that a Trump presidency could unleash. Trump's unpredictable nature and his history of aggressive trade tactics, particularly towards China, have left many wondering, what would a Trump victory mean for the Chinese Yuan? His previous tenure saw the implementation of tariffs and trade barriers that significantly impacted the global economy. A return to such policies could once again disrupt the delicate balance of international trade. Could the People's Bank of China, or PBOC, maintain stability in the face of potential economic headwinds? The PBOC has a history of intervening in the currency markets to stabilize the yuan, but the challenges posed by a renewed trade war with the U.S. could test its limits. The central bank's strategies and responses will be crucial in determining the yuan's trajectory. Let's delve into the intricacies of this complex issue. Understanding the potential impact of a Trump presidency on the UN requires a deep dive into the interconnectedness of global economies and the specific mechanisms through which political decisions influence financial markets. The UN, China's currency, plays a pivotal role in the global economy. It is not just a medium of exchange, but a barometer of economic health and stability. The value of the UN affects international trade, investment flows, and even geopolitical relations. Its value impacts everything from the price of goods we buy to the balance of trade between nations. A stronger UN can make Chinese exports more expensive and less competitive, while a weaker UN can boost exports but may lead to inflationary pressures within China. A fluctuating UN can create uncertainty and volatility in global markets, something investors and businesses alike are keen to avoid. Stability in the UN is not just a Chinese concern, but a global one, as it influences market sentiment and economic forecasts worldwide. But with Trump's potential return to the Oval Office, the question on everyone's mind is whether the PBOC has what it takes to keep the Yuan on an even keel. The central bank's ability to navigate these turbulent waters will be a testament to its resilience and strategic acumen. As the world watches, the stakes couldn't be higher for the yuan and the global economy at large. Two yuans, two tails. How do traders view on and offshore volatility? One interesting aspect of the yuan is that it trades in two distinct markets, onshore CNY and offshore CNH. The onshore yuan, or CNY, is traded within mainland China and is subject to strict regulations and controls by the People's Bank of China. PBOC. On the other hand, the offshore yuan, or CNH, is traded outside of mainland China primarily in financial hubs like Hong Kong and is influenced by global market forces. The onshore market is tightly controlled by the Chinese government, while the offshore market is more open to global forces. This distinction is crucial because it allows the Chinese government to maintain a level of control over its currency within its borders while still participating in the global economy. The PBOC sets a daily reference rate for the onshore yuan and allows it to fluctuate within a narrow band, whereas the offshore yuan is subject to more significant market-driven fluctuations. This duality creates a fascinating dynamic, particularly when it comes to trader sentiment and volatility. Traders closely monitor the spread between the onshore and offshore yuan rates as it provides insights into market sentiment and the effectiveness of the PBOC's policies. A significant divergence between the two rates can signal market concerns about China's economic stability or expectations of future policy changes. Traders often view the spread between the onshore and offshore UN rates as a gauge of market sentiment and the PBOC's grip on the currency. When the spread widens, it can indicate that traders are losing confidence in the PBOC's ability to manage the currency effectively.
This can be due to various factors such as economic data releases, geopolitical events, or changes in global market conditions. A wider spread typically indicates heightened uncertainty and potentially diminished confidence in the PBOC's ability to control the UN's value. This can lead to increased volatility in both the onshore and offshore markets as traders adjust their positions in response to perceived risks. Conversely, a narrow spread suggests greater confidence in the PBOC's management of the currency, indicating that traders believe the central bank has a firm handle on economic conditions and policy measures. Conversely, a narrow spread suggests greater confidence in the PBOC's management of the currency. This can lead to more stable trading conditions and reduced volatility, as traders feel more assured about the direction of the UN. In summary, the interplay between the onshore and offshore UN markets provides valuable insights into trader sentiment and the perceived effectiveness of the PBOC's policies, making it a critical area of focus for financial analysts and traders alike. The PBOC's arsenal. What tools can they deploy to steady the ship? The People's Bank of China, or PBOC, has a range of tools at its disposal to influence the WEN's value. These tools are crucial in maintaining economic stability and ensuring that the currency remains competitive in the global market. These tools, often referred to as monetary policy instruments, can be used to either strengthen or weaken the currency depending on the PBOC's objectives. The choice of tool and its application depend on various economic indicators and the broader financial landscape. One key tool is the setting of the daily fixing, a reference rate around which the yuan is allowed to trade within a certain band. This daily fixing acts as a benchmark and helps in stabilizing the currency by providing a predictable range for traders. Beyond the daily fixing, the PBOC can also adjust reserve requirements for banks. By changing these requirements, the PBOC can influence the amount of money that banks have available for lending. This in turn affects the overall money supply and can impact the yuan's value. Additionally, the PBOC has the ability to buy or sell yuan in the open market. This direct intervention can be a powerful tool to influence the exchange rate, especially during times of significant volatility or economic uncertainty. These interventions, however, come with their own set of challenges and potential consequences. For instance, frequent interventions can lead to market distortions and may affect investor confidence. Therefore, the PBOC must carefully consider the timing and scale of its actions to ensure they achieve the desired outcomes without unintended side effects. In addition to these tools, the PBOC also monitors international trade flows and capital movements. By understanding these dynamics, the PBOC can better anticipate market reactions and adjust its policies accordingly. The PBOC's strategies are not just about immediate effects, but also about long-term economic health. By maintaining a stable currency, the PBOC helps to foster a favorable environment for trade and investment, which is essential for sustained economic growth. Ultimately, the PBOC's ability to deploy these tools effectively is a testament to its role as a central bank. Its actions are closely watched by global markets, and its decisions can have far-reaching implications for the global economy. As the global economic landscape continues to evolve, the PBOC's toolkit will remain a critical component in navigating the complexities of currency management and economic stability. By leveraging its arsenal of tools, the PBOC aims to steer the economy through turbulent times, ensuring that the ship remains steady and on course for future prosperity. History repeating, lessons from past Trump triumphs and trade wars. To understand the potential impact of a Trump presidency on the UN, it's helpful to look back at what transpired during his previous term. Trump's trade war with China, characterized by tariffs and retaliatory measures, undoubtedly created volatility in the currency markets. The yuan depreciated against the US dollar during this period, reflecting the economic uncertainties and trade tensions. However, it's important to note that the PBOC actively managed